Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Latia B and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some products from Shea Moisture. If you have been watching my channel or have been subscribed to my channel and have been keeping up to date with my videos, then you should be aware that I am a Shea Moisture brand ambassador, also known as a Shea Ambassador for the year of 2018. And if you didn't know, well now you know. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen any of my Shea Moisture reviews as a, as a Shea Ambassador, then I will be sure to link some in this video, but I will definitely link my latest video up here in the corner so you can be sure to check it out because one of the products in that box really took me for a loop and y'all when I tell you I was very surprised on it yeah just go watch the video you'll see exactly what I mean and why I was surprised about it I also was sent a bonus box for the month of August and y'all they hooked your girl up okay like there are some bomb products in this box but today I will only be talking about two of the products so that well that's four two plus two huh <laughs> I'll be talking about two of the products and I'll talk about the rest of the products um later at a later time but wait wait a minute let me take this time out before I really get into this video and just say thank you I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel y'all I have hit 500 subscribers like I can't believe it well I can believe it I'm just super excited about it so y'all know what that means it is giveaway time <laughs> So be sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn on your notifications so that you can be alerted of when I post a giveaway video because if you're not subscribed to my channel, then you cannot enter the giveaway. So you might as well just go ahead and subscribe now so that you can be prepared for when I drop the details on that giveaway. Now let's go ahead and get into this review. So Shea Moisture was kind enough to send me the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. And this contains shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. And of course it contains Jamaican Black castor oil. As always, this product contains no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no propylene glycol, no phthalates, no animal testing, and also no petrolatum. Now this product, of course, is sulfate free and color safe. And you know, what's crazy is that I have used a treatment mask that is in this line a number of times and it has become like one of my top, 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 top <laughs> favorite treatment masks, but I never actually tried this shampoo. And I think it's because I don't know, honestly, I really I really don't know. I think I've just used so many other shampoos that I was like, okay, I don't need another shampoo. So I never picked up the shampoo and was always just drawn to the treatment mask. But thankfully, Shrey Moisture hooked me up. So now I can try the shampoo. So I'm definitely gonna be trying this out today and reviewing it for you all. Um, and like I said, they also sent me the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. And this also contains shea butter, peppermint, as well as keratin. I really love that they sent me two packets because I do have a lot of hair. But today, I'm not going to be using the packets. I already, well, I actually might need to use one of them. I already own <laughs> this treatment mask. And I actually bought this from Marshalls. You can still kind of see the tag on it. Um, I actually bought this from Marshalls a little bit ago for like 5 6 dollars something like that but as you can see i've been holding on to this last little bit for dear life but today it will be getting used up um yeah so pretty much i'm just going to go ahead and get into the video and reviewing these products now let me start out by saying my hair is a hot mess so i was on vacation last week or a week before last rather and I had a blown out type of style. So I did like a blown out flat twist style. And I will definitely post a video on how I styled my hair because it actually came out really cute. But because I was so tired from my trip and just had to like go back to work, I kind of just pulled my hair up and have been wearing it in this crazy bun for like the last week. So before I get started, I do want to do a pre-poo treatment. So I'm just going to do a hot oil treatment just to kind of, you know, detangle my hair and get it much, get it prepared pretty much for the washing process. And I am going to use a hot oil treatment that I have already reviewed, which was also from Shea Moisture. So it's from their 100% um, virgin coconut oil line or something like that. So I'm going to link that video above too so you can see exactly what this product how it works for me and just the other products in the line because I actually really love this hot oil treatment. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will come back on camera once my hot oil treatment has sat in my hair for like 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And I'll begin washing my hair and deep conditioning and all that good stuff. So I will see y'all in a bit. 
all right so i have had this um hot oil well oil treatment in my hair for like i don't know maybe 30 minutes i got preoccupied doing something so it's probably been like a good 30 min minutes since i have had the oil in my hair um and it did really help to soften my hair up and it made it super easy to detangle my hair so now i'm going to go ahead and wet my hair in my shower and then i'll come on camera and shampoo my hair Okay, so my hair is nice and wet y'all my hair definitely needs like a good cleansing so hopefully this shampoo does it for me i'm just trying to check to make sure it doesn't yep it does so the thing i like about shea moisture is that majority of their products come with a safety seal and this shampoo is no different so i'm going to go ahead and take that off like i said i've never used a shampoo from this line before so hopefully it works well for my hair yeah so it the shampoo has the same like to me this mask reminds me of the smell that honestly it kind of reminds me of the way that play-doh smells almost i don't know i can't really explain it but sometimes the way that i interpret a sense is just all off but <laughs> anyway that's what this shampoo also smells like so i'm going to start out by just using whoa sorry i'm just going to start out by using a small amount of the shampoo i don't want to go too heavy-handed so this is what it looks like the shampoo is i don't know it's pretty watery it's not like super thick i mean shampoos generally aren't thick but i feel like this one is a little more um it's a little thinner than other shampoos that i've used so i'm really gonna focus this shampoo oh yeah this lather now usually when i shampoo my hair my hair doesn't lather up like this until like the second go round but i think i may only need to go in one time with this shampoo which is great because yeah being a little lazy tonight <laughs> Now usually I don't go all the way to the ends of my hair with my shampoo like this, but because I did do that pre-poo and my hair was very oily, I did want to go ahead and just shampoo all of that oil, excess oil out. So I'm making sure to massage my scalp because that really helps to loosen uh, the dirt and build it from your hair and well, mainly from your scalp so giving yourself a nice scalp massage gentle but nice <laughs> scalp massage as you shampoo really helps to loosen that dirt and to get your scalp nice and clean okay i now feel like my hair is nice and clean so i'm going to go ahead and rinse this out of my head Whew. okay so i have rinsed the shampoo out of my hair I still have some shampoo in my hair, but I actually do not. So my hair is already starting to look way better than it did. It feels super soft. Um, my curls aren't super defined just yet, but my hair it does feel good. My scalp feels clean. Uh, so now I'm gonna go in with the treatment mask. Now, like I said, I absolutely love this treatment mask, and generally this treatment mask like really helps my curls to like pop. Like it helps my hair to just bounce back. So I'm probably gonna end up using what's left in here as well as one of the packets that they sent me. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the process. So I'm gonna start in the back like I usually do. Yeah, my hair is so easy to like part. I'm so happy I detangled it before I washed it or else this would have been a hot mess. Taking a small section and I'm just going in with the mask this is what it looks like when it comes out it is pretty thick again it smells like the shampoo like I was saying earlier both of them to me for some reason smell like play-doh they don't like I don't think it stinks I don't think the smell of play-doh is bad it's just an interesting smell so I'm just gonna work that into my strands Making sure to really detangle the um, ends of my hair before I work my way up so that I don't rip my hair out. So yeah, see how it just makes my curls just look so good when I apply it to my hair. So that's really all it is to it, just putting the product into your hair. So I'm going to just go ahead and finish doing that for the rest of my head. 
Now that I have the product all in my hair, I'm going to take some extra product and really focus it on my edges as well as the nape of my hair. I'm also taking some extra product and focusing it on the ends of my hair because this part of my hair is the most dry and most fragile. I finished coating my hair with the product. This is what it looks like in my hair. Um, I do not one have a heat source at the moment um, but it does recommend that you put your hair wrap your hair with a plastic cap and then sit under a warm dryer for 10 to 15 minutes or you can leave it on your hair for up to 30 minutes without heat so I'm going to leave it on my hair for up to 30 minutes without heat and I've also run out of my regular shower cap so I'm going to have to you know go old school and put my hair in this plastic bag all right, so that's on my hair. And I'll probably leave this on for like 20 to 30 minutes. Um, while this is going, I do wanna point out a couple of things about this treatment mask. So the first thing that I recommend is that you do make sure that your hair is nice and detangled before you apply the mask because the mask does not have much slip. Um, actually, in my opinion, it doesn't have any slip at all. So you really wanna make sure, and that's why you didn't see me going in with my tangle teaser because I actually forgot about that um, you know, aspect of this mask um, because once you put the mask on there it's not the easiest to work through your hair if your hair is like tangled up and stuff like that so making sure that your hair is nice and detangled will make your application process so much easier I did only end up using what was left in my container so this is actually perfect there's still a little bit in there but honestly I don't feel like struggling to get it out this is what my hair looks like now it looks you know kind of lifeless at the moment but I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out so we can see how it looks my hair is all nice and rinsed out and this is what it looks like after rinsing out the treatment mask my hair definitely looks <laughs> like it has been brought back to life if you remember what it looked like before i washed and conditioned my hair then yeah you know you you have witnessed the transformation <laughs> Anyway, though, y'all, my hair definitely feels super soft. My curls are nice and bouncy, and they have bounced back nicely from that blown-out style that I had. So, yeah, I mean, I already knew that the, that the treatment mask wasn't going to disappoint. I actually really did enjoy using the shampoo. It did not dry my hair out or anything like that. I think doing the pre-poo with the hot oil treatment beforehand really worked, really helped. Um, the shampoo to you know kind of work its magic I know it kind of seems like okay but you're adding more product to your hair before shampooing your hair but honestly it really helps to pre-poo your hair especially with some type of oil-based treatment to help make sure that your hair is not stripped of all of its natural oils during the shampoo process so I'm really happy that I went through with my pre-poo this go round yes I really like the shampoo a little bit goes a long way you were able to see how even on the first lather, the first wash, the um, shampoo lathered up very well. So if you're someone who doesn't like to wash your hair more than, I mean, you know, wash, use shampoo more than once during your wash sessions, then I think this shampoo would be really good because I feel like I only needed to wash my hair one time with the shampoo. I love this line, this shampoo and conditioner anyway. I mean, shampoo and treatment mask anyway. Like I said, I already knew that the treatment mask was gonna come through for your girl. So yeah, if you haven't tried this line from Shea Moisture before, let me know down in the comment section um, what you think of it, how it worked for you. I know, you know, some things that work for me don't work for other people, so I'm always interested to see how different products work for others. Um, so yeah, like I said, let me know that down in the comment section. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this demo slash review slash bringing my hair back to life session. <laughs> and please, please, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button remember y'all i'm going to be doing a giveaway because i reached 500 subscribers you know i'm still like over the moon ecstatic and super excited about that so yes y'all please stay tuned for details about the giveaway and with that being said i will see y'all in my next video time to go style this hair <laughs> all right y'all stay dazzling <laughs>